about live with the Brad and Squeeze show, yeah, ready to live answer immigration on questions. 93.5 FM. Yeah. The song said, I want you to know, I want you to know. That's where we cut it off. And then it was about to say, grab somebody you love, but I didn't want to continue. While I drink my vitamin water, I'll let you comment on all of this. I'm just commenting. Commenting silently. I'm commenting silently. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, out there across the entire tri-state area. Welcome again to 93.5 WVIP. I'm about to fire up my Facebook page because Brad wanted me to fire it up while music was playing so that Zuckerberg, not Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg can screw me again, okay, by batting my Facebook page. Okay, and I think Brad does that deliberately so that my pace, Facebook page will get shut down and then... Thousands of people will not be able to get their immigration questions answered. Why would I do that deliberately? I don't know. Last time I checked, your right. former SMG guy was uh, poaching. Mm. Poaching. All right? Poaching on someone's page. So, so uh, Daniel's back. He didn't quit yet. Did you just cut me off? Yes. Did you just cut me off? Yes, I did. I was speaking and you pretended as if I was completely, you know? Yeah, I want to change the subject. <laughs> Got to deal with yes. you, man. Y'all see? Yeah. All right. Anyway, folks, um, so welcome once again to all the listeners across the tri state area and also on social media. You can catch us on uh, Facebook Live. Um, do, you, do you know I, when I was in Colombia, I met some people in Colombia. See, watching. I got cut off again, right? Sorry. Someone keep checking. Keep, <laughs> Second keep time now, right? <laughs> all right. <Yes. laughs> Go on, you're not listening. I was just informing the people about the show so that they could actually call. But since you want to speak about Colombia, let's go down there. No, no, no. I'm done. You I'm sure? Columbia. Yeah. You sure you don't want to talk about anything in Colombia? Uh, nope, I had a wonderful time. All right. That's yes. very good. <laughs> all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, let me start all over again. Welcome to the Brad and Squeeze Show right here on 93.5 WVIP. You can also catch us, of course, on the World Wide Web, on social media platforms, you know, Facebook Live, Periscope. You know, we've got uh, YouTube, respectively. We've got David Squeeze Atticus page on Facebook page and also Instagram. And also, of course, the law offices of Spartan Bernstein on Facebook. Don't forget Brad Bernstein. And also, do remember to check out Periscope with Spartan Bernstein. That's where all the crazy people are at. Where are the crazy people at? Periscope. Periscope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, the fun people. You gotta be uh, crazy to have a little fun and vice versa. All right? Mm-hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get into the show. Why do I have this thing on? What the? What, what the am I what? Doing? Got the wrong headphones on. Ah, no wonder I don't hear anything. That, does that make any sense? No. So if I put on my headphones, you hear? Yes, one eight hundred five two nine. I was saying, I was saying that's what you would be saying to yourself. Yes. That, does that okay? make any sense? That's what you would be saying to yourself. One eight hundred five two nine five four six five. As usual, the show starts off really uh, weird. Weird. But let's, here's what we're going to do. Let's just go straight to questions. Yes. All right? Let's go to what matters. U- Uma. Uma. Hello? Yes. Hey, Uma. What's up? We're doing yeah, All Lives up, Matter please. now. Yeah. We're doing All Lives Matter. What is your question all for right. Brad Bernstein? What does that even mean? <laughs> okay. I, went, I said, uh, let's go to what matters, uh, and I said, we're going to All Lives Matter now. So okay. What, I have... I have uh, two questions. Um, question. Hold on. Where are you from? Africa. Uh, West Africa, Burkina Faso. Okay, cool. I am an expert in accents now. Well, the last time I checked, you've been around since 1958, the I, firm. I am an expert in accents. <laughs> the firm, yes. that is. West Africa. You're okay, what's guy. your question? Okay, my question. Um, I've been here for over 10 years. Uh, no... Criminal record, never do have a arrest, nothing. Okay, what best way you uh, advise me to 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 can get the paper? Uh, get the, uh, all right. And, so, how'd you come yeah. here, to the United States, on a visitor's visa? Um, uh, yeah, visa tourist oh, B two. Okay. So, all right. So he came here on a tourist visa, and his question to yeah. me is, how do I get a green card? And I don't know if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or Periscope or maybe you're just listening on the radio, but behind me are approximately, I don't know, Kyle, how many books would you say there? Uh, At least 200. At least 200 books. All with different ways to get green cards and immigration information. There is absolutely no way that I can tell you how to get a green card when you call me up and say, hey, how do I get a green card? 
that's something that we would not be able to resolve over a radio show or a live uh, feed. We would need to have a consultation and sit down with you and spend some time with you. It's like you go to a doctor and you say, hey, doctor, my heart hurts. Can you operate? And the doctor says, wait a second. Could I sit down and ask you some questions and do some tests and figure it out first? So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so hold on one second. Okay, we'll, we'll help you, but hold on one second. Once again, the number for the law offices of Spartanburg scene happens to be one 800 Five two nine five four six five. That's one eight zero zero L A W L I N K one eight hundred five two nine five four six five. Once again, if you're just joining us, welcome to the Brad and Squeeze Show, and we're here answering immigration questions. Remember to ask them also online. Previously, I only had two questions on my page. Although previously, I'm, yeah, previously. on previous episodes, like previously on yeah. Empire. Yes, but they uh, they uh, they ask, what? they ask a lot of questions what? on my feed. Previously on the law link. Yes. Marissa says there's a thousand books there, Kyle. It's a one thousand, she says. She says it's a thousand. I'd like to take a count on that. Yeah, Kyle's going to yeah, count that. we need that. to have a pool. Kyle's going to count that and see how many books are actually 300. behind me. Squeeze says 300. Kyle says 200. Marissa says 1,000. Let's about, have a giveaway. It's about 300. Right. Whoever's closest, whoever's closest Squeeze will give plane tickets to for free anywhere in the world. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> He loves Absolutely. giving away plane tickets. Absolutely. And then when they call, you can say, oh, oh, the plane tickets were given away yesterday. They're like Monopoly plane tickets. <laughs> yeah. La- Guess who got the plane ticket? Who? Some guy by the name of SMG. Did he really? <laughs> he did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you should, should see him. He just, he, basically, he ended the promotion and just yeah. said, I'm taking them. Yep. Amazing. He did that and quit all in one, <laughs> all all <laughs> one motion. All right. 1-800-529-5465. Lottie. Loni. Hello, good morning. Hi, Lani, Loni, Melanie. Aloni. Aloni. Yeah. yeah. Aloni. Okay. Um, how are you today? I am wonderful. I'm I am refreshed. I am back from my vacation. Oh. I don't know if you follow you. me on Facebook or Instagram, but you saw me all over the place in Colombia. Beautiful no, country, I'm, beautiful people uh, there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. You don't follow anyway. me. It's okay. Anyway, what I want to ask you, I'm a green card holder, and, and my daughter filed for me, and from I'm here from 2013, and F, my daughter filed for my husband for me, but he doesn't reach up yet, so can I, how can I get a, vi- a visiting visa for him to come up here to look for me? All right, let me ask you a question. Was your daughter... Uh, were you married to your husband before your daughter was 18? No, no. I, 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 my daughter lived up here, but what I'm saying, now everything question, came every, that, wait, what, what, Everything came to already. The, the, the paper from the embassy came back that they accept with the filing and everything. We're just waiting on them to call. Lo- Aloni, Aloni. Yes. My, answer my question first so I can help you. Okay. Yes. Did you marry this man before your daughter turned 18 years? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. fine. All right. And when did your daughter file for him in 2013? Um, in December. December of what year? 2000. In last year, last year. December of 2016. Yes. Okay. So he's not going to get his green card till the end of the year. Um, and unfortunately, you can't get him a visitor's visa because he's already shown an intention to get his green card. You filed the visa petition for him. So you just have to, you have to process the case. Now, you got your green card in 2013. What took so long? Why would you wait three years to file for him? You could have done it five years ago, four years ago. No, I'm married to my husband in 2014. All right, hold on one second, because you're not giving me the dates that are not matching up with what you told me. You told me you got a green card in 2013, your daughter filed for you and your husband, and now you told me you married him in 2014, and then therefore, if you got your green card through your daughter, she had to have been over 18 when you got married to this man. So then you can't, your daughter can't file for you, Loni. No. No, no, my, da- my daughter is 40 years old now. All right, hold on one second. What you're saying to me is is the, the googly junk, or whatever you call it. 
So we need to get to the bottom of this. Hold on one second. But the answer is, if you, somebody filed for him, he's not getting a visitor's visa. All right. Why he's not here, I don't know yet, but hold on. All right. So originally it was 2013. I don't, I'm not even going to go into it. She needs help. Okay. Yes, please. All right. Right, Kyle? one 800 Duck. Got to be quiet over there, Kyle. You're making so much Gobbly-duck. noise, man. <laughs> By the way, Kyle secretly has the best personality in the entire office. Secretly. Secretly. It's a secret That's person. what I heard. Yeah, That's it's, what I heard. it's an absolute <laughs> secret personality. Nobody knows about it. His work, his work says a whole lot more than him. It, right. It's a secret. He has like, you know, like the secret societies. Kyle is like secret personality. I've actually seen his work. Yes. He only, he his only, work is hilarious. His work is hilarious, but it's very secret. Can't believe it's the same guy. Yeah. Nobody's allowed to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, he didn't have Ghost Riders. <laughs> what? Exactly. Except for everyone you just told. Exactly. Except for the five thousand right. people tuning in. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, all right. One eight hundred five two nine five four six five. Marsha. Yes. Um, I have a question. Yes. I have a family member who came to the U.S. without inspection. Is there any chance of him picking up his green card in the U.S. If he is two forty five I eligible, yes. If he's married to a U.S. citizen and that U.S. citizen is in the military or former military, they can get a parole in place, yes. If he's an abused spouse, yes. If he's a U visa holder, which means that he um, was uh, a victim of a crime, yes. I'm going through, I, by the way, there's like a hundred other ways. If uh, you're TPS or DACA and you get advanced parole to travel back in the country? Yes. I mean, there's a hundred ways. Okay. So it's possible. Possible, yes. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have him reach out to you. Perfect. And we'll go from there. Perfecto. Perfecto, as they say in Colombia. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. Bye. By the way, Daniel, you may want to make the video interesting and actually move the camera around a little bit every so often. He has Not been doing just, Oh, he has been doing Yes. That. Guy's been crawling on, a fo- on all freaking I'm, fours I, I, all over I, the place and I just, just slamming the guy. I'm just trying to be a director and the actor and the producer and what else? The writer. And not a bully. And not a bully. Squeeze is the bully, right? Correct. Thank you. Right. I thought Squeeze was the partner. Hey. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> He's paying attention. Partner. <laughs> all right. Squeeze is no partner of mine. <laughs> Thank you. Now you say it. All right. All right. You know what? When I say it, it didn't sound so bad. But then when I hear now, somebody now you hear it, someone say it, and I'm like, it oh, sounds, that sounds bad. Yeah. Yes. I don't want. I don't want Thank you. Like, you. My Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that up, Kyle. Now you now you do it to him. He's like, okay. All, all right. right. You know, it's like it's like it's very funny. It's like you don't hear yourself talk, but then if you see yourself in a video and then you hear your voice, you're like, oh, oh when my the joke voice, is on you. My voice always, sound, your voice always yeah. sounds terrible, right? That's how I sound. So you're living through me right now. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Once again, folks, it's the Brad and Squeeze Show, 21 minutes after 12 o'clock. Uh, do call us, 1-800-529-5465. That's 1-800-L-A-W-L-I-N-K. We would like to hear from you. Don't forget that we have little Nikki. We've got Kyle. We've got Tuan. Did I pronounce that right? I always mess yes. up your name. All right. She's actually here in studio. Don't ask me what they do. All I, all I know is that Brad's creating an audience just to... Um, what, listen, this, listen, this is, <laughs> let me explain to you, Okay. Daniel presses the button on one camera. Right. Okay, Tawan presses a button on another camera. Okay. Kyle's here because he's supposed to be learning how to do this. Mm-hmm. And he's a funny guy, too. Okay. Little Nikki. Has the heart. It's the heart and soul of this entire show. <laughs> she has to be here. Thanks for clearing that up. Okay. Must be the highest speed push button guys I've ever yes. known. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to another call. 1-800-LAWLIC. We are answering immigration questions. Thank you so much for tuning in across 93.5 also. Hello. Andrew. Hello. Andrew. Good Andrew. Afternoon. Hi, Brad. How Hi, are you? Please. Hey, what's up, Andre? I'm good. Good, good, good. Um, Brad, I want to ask a quick question. Um, mm-hmm. If I applied for VAWA in April and it's still pending, right, um, can I apply for benefits for my U.S. citizen son who lives in Canada with his mom? Mm-hmm. Meaning um, he, um, I have a, a you want, you want, you want... that he was abused in Canada. Well, well, your his mom is coming to sending him, sending him back into Jamaica. Okay. You, well, you, you are, have a pending VAWA case right now. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Yeah. So you could include him on that case either after it's approved or if he's living in America, adjust his status with you here. Okay. No, he's living in Canada All with right. his mom. All right. So why don't you make an appointment to come in and let's see what's the best thing we can do to help him, okay? Okay. Hold on one second. Once again, uh, the number here is 1-800-529-5465, 1-800-529-5465. Before we get to the next call in 30 seconds, why are you wearing a girl's watch? You know I'm not prejudiced. You know, in any way, shape, or form, I do believe in equality in the whole nine yards. All right? But why are you wearing a girl's watch? Because I was suckered. <laughs> the man in the store said it was a man's watch. And when did you realize that it was a girl's watch? <laughs> About in, ten minutes ago when you said, why are you wearing a girl's watch right before the show started? That's when you realized. That's when I realized. Okay. Until then, I believed the man when he said, you're buying a man's watch. Mm -hmm. You have looked into it, and you realize, though, that it, it is a girl's watch. It's a very nice girl's watch. That kind of watch, I mean, I bought one for my girl before, but that, that's the kind of watch I would definitely... Is this a girl's watch? I would... I, um, it's a woman's watch. Okay. A woman's well, watch. I, yeah, you're right. A you're right. Watch. I'm sorry. A he is right. Watch. It is not a girl's watch. That is a lady's watch. Or which is a woman. Yeah. it's a watch for a man with an elegant wrist. Or it's for ah, a, a watch with a man with an elegant wrist. Or it's for a, a watch for a man who is... Um, who is um, somebody's partner on the other <laughs> side of the fence? Which is not, not that there's anything wrong with that. It could be maybe. I'm just saying. Maybe my partner gave me this watch. Maybe. Maybe. It's good with coming out. You know, actually, who got this for me? My ex-wife. Your ex-wife. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Maybe she was trying to tell me. Something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's who right. she's ex now. <laughs> All right. You know what's so weird? What? No, I don't want to. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, you want me to tell you? Yeah. I was actually, um, over the weekend, I was, I mean, there's this girl that I met over the weekend. Not a girl that's interested in me or anything, but she was very sad. And just like you, when you were at that place the other night, you saw the girl and she was very sad, the girl from France, and you went up and you bought her a drink and everything. You remember that girl at PhD? Yeah, it was her birthday. Yeah, and she was very sad. So I right. saw this girl, she was very sad, right. and I said, you know, let me go over, get her a drink. And I was like, why are you so sad? And she said that her and her boyfriend broke up. Oh. And I never, ever ask anyone details because once you know the details, now you're part of it. Not only that, but now all of a sudden you have to give advice. Exactly. And maybe you don't have any good advice to give, you know? But all of a sudden, now you have to be like, you have to say something. If Once you ask, you have to say something to make it better. And this is a beautiful, stunning woman. Mm -hmm. She says she caught her boyfriend with another guy. Wow. But then she shouldn't feel bad. She felt very, she was in love with a guy. Yeah, I know, but she shouldn't feel bad because it wasn't her. Obviously, he was. Yeah, but now was, you um, can you imagine all the investments she made in that guy, right? You know, and now then to find out that, she, that, that, that the dude is in love with someone else, or he's not the man I thought he was. He's exactly, somebody, he's somebody and, different, and she, she's just completely floored. Right, it's more. Yeah, but she shouldn't feel bad or hurt about herself. I think she's going to need therapy. Maybe. I seriously think she's going to need therapy. Maybe that's crazy. She just needs a boyfriend. Yeah, she needs she that needs too. A, she needs you know, that's the quickest way to resolve a problem. It is. Just get right back on. It is. You, you know? know what? Because if you find a new boyfriend, you forget about the old boyfriend. Very, very fast. If you find a good one. If you find a good one. Yeah. If, if you, you don't find a good, find a good one, then you then you long for the old one. Mm. Right? No? I don't. I, mm. I've been dating the same person for 10 years. I couldn't tell you. Mm. How old are you? 26. You've been dating someone since you were 16? Yep. Really? Yep. Man, I want to know what studies you did where it works out for 10 seconds. <laughs> I, 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 I know people who haven't been married for 10 years. Yeah, it's kind of insane. It's like a third of my life. Yeah. <laughs> wow. a third of your life, about 40% of your life. We need to, whatever book, you need to write a book and give it to Brad and me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what, do, what do I do? How do you say to you? What do you do to maintain a relationship for ten years? As a, uh, as, as a young, as a, especially as a young man, and you, you know, started out at sixteen. As so a millennial, ten years. You know, there's so many yeah. different. You know, so um, one, you keep it off social media. That's uh -huh. that's the biggest catch for anybody who's young. You keep it off social media. Really? Yes. yes. What? My roommate, <laughs> when one of my roommates, she had she lost her boyfriend because the side chick. Caught him on someone else's social media. Well, that's what happens if you're her. if you're cheating. Yeah, but it turns out. Well, you're not supposed a, to be cheating. Yeah, but it doesn't matter <laughs> what you're doing. You just got to keep it off. It gets messy, even really? if you're faithful. It gets messy. In right. this day and age, yes, it's not gonna happen with me. Uh, <laughs> all right, that all right, all right. This is a show about law. We're getting off track here. 
Somebody stole. Well, you asked. <laughs> somebody stole my Michelle Obama uh, photograph. It's gone. Oh, there she is. Okay. Keep the peace. Keep the peace. George. Hello. Hey. George, hey. what's up? How are you guys? What's up? I have an open question. Sure. For someone out of status but has a valid driver license, would you? Um, what is your opinion of taking a West Coast vacation like Arizona, California? What, what, enjoy your vacation. What's the problem? Uh, what about this thing that I hear that, you know, Trump is hiring 10,000 ICE agents. Is there something to be afraid about? Well, if you have a valid driver's license, I, I wouldn't be too concerned about getting on an airplane. As long as you don't go near within 150 miles of a border, you're fine. And uh, what if this person only have like first first cousin? Does he have any options, or uh, he just have to be staying low? And right. Be so careful? now, so now your question is: Is how do I get a green card? Um, that that would require a consultation. I think that's the best thing to do. Hold on one second. Sorry, okay, man. No room. Great. Thank you, guys. Hold on. Hold, on. hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. Now we've got criminal defense uh, attorneys showing criminal up for the show. Showing up at, at and they actually show up on time. Tawan, would you mind standing up and giving this criminal defense attorney your seat? Thank you very much. So why don't you Should just say give her the seat? Paul, why do yeah. you have to say standing up? She has to stand up to give a seat. Not necessarily. She could sit. She wants to pull on his lap. Give up her seat. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, well, you know what? This is like, not United no, Airlines here, right. okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. All of a sudden, we dragged Tawana out of the seat. Let no, the record reflect. I did not drag her out. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a criminal defense attorney yes, beating the crap imagine, out of a yeah. person with a seat? <laughs> At least there's another one on this side right. of the room that probably would right. defend her because they work together. Are you all controlling right. the cameras, Paul? Yes. Nice. Well, by the way, multi talented well, well, man. Well, Welcome, well, Paul Hirsch well, and David well, Moreno, criminal leave, defense leave, attorneys. Well, leave the cameras. I am. Seriously. Leave the cameras alone. I am. All right, thank you. They were just because not on you, so they put it back on you. I know, no, no, only because we're going to gonna pull the wire, wires yeah. out yeah. and then nobody will hear the sound. Mm. All right, 1 800 529 What's happening? A lot is happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, Very busy guys over okay. here. Okay, one, 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 one second. Sorry, please. Uh, one second. Can I introduce this segment of the show so people can, can fix the camera, distinguish exactly what's happening between the segments? All right, so once again, folks, you're in tune to the Brad and Squeeze show. And, of course, we just answered a few immigration questions. We must remind people that the law office of Spar Bernstein is a full-service law firm, and we have a criminal defense department. We've got the two criminal defense attorneys, who, well, two of them, that walked in. We've got Paul Hirsch, and we've got David Moreno. Good afternoon. Hello. It's good to have them. Thanks All for right, the so intro. What's, so what's going on here in the criminal defense, guys? Just trying to save our clients one client at a time. Tell um, us how you're saving them. Well, la just last week we had a client of ours who was uh, – a previous client of ours in New York, and, and they got picked up on a case out of state. And generally, we wouldn't travel to the state of Massachusetts, but uh, the family really didn't feel comfortable having any other lawyer handle this case. So I so actually this drove... This was a state case in Massachusetts? It was a federal? state case in Massachusetts. How did you get admitted in Massachusetts? Uh, it's a commonwealth, and they have really lax pro hoc vice laws. Oh, like, really? Legitimately, I didn't have to show an identification card. Wow. I just went there, gave them 100 bucks. I said, go ahead, you can practice here now. Wow, Seriously, fantastic. That's what All happened. All right, so Massachusetts, criminal defense. Who knew? <laughs> Give us a call. Give us a call. Okay. Yeah, yeah so you went up to Massachusetts. people listening in Springfield. <laughs> All right, so you went up to Massachusetts. We went up to Massachusetts. Um, our client was charged with a whole multitude, a whole lot of things. It was ridiculous. Well, I mean, it was like, what's a whole lot of things? It was, it was 12 counts. It stemmed from pretty much a state trooper attempting to pull our client over and then him not stopping for quite a bit of time, and they threw the book at him. Um, reckless driving, reckless driving. So on he his, drove like three highway. extra blocks or four extra blocks? No, 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 no. He drove like <laughs> 20 extra minutes going 20. like 125 miles an hour. Oh, oh so he was really fleeing. <laughs> he was in a rush. Allegedly. He was in a rush. He had an he's, appointment. He's, he's, he's trying to get back to New York. Right, right. He's trying to get back to New York. Now, uh, all jokes aside, though, uh, they, they did recover a uh, controlled substance from the car, and they, they charged him uh, again with, you know, 12 different counts. Wow, so so fleeing? Uh, fleeing, reckless driving. Reckless driving, drugs. Yeah. Uh, possession with intent. It just They, they overcharged right. the case significantly. Right. It was great, actually, that they did that because we used that to our advantage in terms of plea bargaining and, and dealing with the judge. Uh, so... You know, the, the state of Massachusetts lodged a warrant against our client, and he, he had to stay in jail um, for two weeks in excess of his sentence that he, was, that he had here in New York. 
Um, and they did that on, on these facts. So when I got to court, I asked. What do you mean, them, two weeks in excess of New York? What did New York have to do with anything? He was in custody in New York. Oh, oh, because he drove across the Massachusetts no, state No, no, no. He was in custody on a separate case in New York. Okay. okay. So this guy's getting in trouble everywhere. No, he's not getting in trouble anywhere, but he was in custody in New York. Okay. okay? And Massachusetts lodged a warrant, and they, and they have to have an interest to come get him. They didn't have to lodge the warrant to come get him on these charges. So when I get to court, I, I'm just acting like my mind is blown. I said, Judge, not only are, are, are they dragging me here for this case, and, and they, they made my client wait for two weeks, but you're having to deal with this. This is a traffic case. And they made this kid sitting in jail for an extra two, two weeks. And once we did that, the judge looked wow. at the people and said, are you serious? Why are you doing this? And the, and the prosecutor goes, well, judge, it's a statey case. And I'm like, what, what does that supposed to mean? He said, well, the, the state trooper is really interested in this. I said, why? Because he had to do his job a little bit? He's upset? The judge said, well, I'm, kick, I'm kicking four of these charges off the bat. So now we're dealing with, with eight instead of 12. Um, ultimately, we were able to have our client just plead to reckless driving. Um, and, 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 and that was it. And the rest of everything else was thrown out. Um, so it worked out. It was a lot of back and forth between myself. Wait, wait, so this guy is driving 120 miles an hour. He's got drugs in his car. Drugs in his car. Not just driving 120 miles an hour. Wouldn't stop for the police Wouldn't when they the police. turn their lights right. on and put their sirens and, on. And uh, brings in the big guns from New York up to Massachusetts. Basically gets a slap on the a, wrist. And he gets a driving infraction. Yes. Exactly. Not for nothing. Everybody in Massachusetts couldn't have been nicer. Right. You, you walk into some <laughs> other states. No, seriously. No, oh, you got your hot shot New York lawyer, and it, no one wants to help you. These yes. guys were just the nicest. The judge, the prosecutor, the court officers, it, it, it was a really smooth experience. Well, and thankfully for our client, um, we came up there because I'm not sure that you know, right. any assigned attorney would have been able to get him that deal. Wow. And, and by right. the way. Because they wouldn't have the, known what was going on and, in New York. They wouldn't yeah. have known any of it. And, and by the way, we don't condone anything no, no, that, no. that he's doing. But what's most important is that you protected his rights. But also, exactly. Whether you're doing something right or you're doing something wrong, your rights need to be protected. You do have rights in this country but I was called the United States of America. provide a unique perspective on our client that another attorney wouldn't have been able to provide for the judge. Because I, I'm familiar with this, this individual. I've known him for the past year. I was able to, to say on the record what, what he's doing. He was in school, what's going on. The judge was really curious about that. So it, it was good for him to have a lawyer that was also familiar with him as a person. I've been arrested for reckless driving. Yeah? Tell us about it. Yeah. I was going up to uh, Canada, and I got stopped in a place called Fultonville. In Canada or in New York? No, in New York. Okay. Okay, probably about seven people live in the town. They woke up the... Um... Any, any, any of them uh, of color? <laughs> Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. <laughs> <laughs> they I woke got... up the judge slash doctor slash <laughs> yes. dentist right. slash the, uh, the fire, I, fire chief. I yes. thought I was never coming back. <laughs> and, and the guy who bags the groceries. Right. <laughs> I was doing about 137 miles an hour. What so kind of car were you driving yeah. that fast? <laughs> Ferrari? No, and back then it wasn't. It was a Starion, a Mitsubishi Starion. Mitsubishi Starion. Yeah, the, I had the engine modified, though. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I got stopped, and um, the cops um, came up to the uh, window, asked me for my driver's license, gave it to me, says, follow me, and if you try to get away, I will shoot your tires out. <laughs> so, obviously, I followed him. Right. <laughs> Back, and they put me in a cell, and they called, uh, uh, wake up the judge, and I swear to God, the judge literally came in his pajamas. Literally came in his pajamas to see me in court and said, and how do you plead? I said, not guilty. Uh -huh. Obviously. You know, uh -huh. and um, I left and went back in my car and drove to Canada. And then I had to go back like about eight weeks later, ten weeks later on. And then ultimately I got it reduced to um, a, tr a simpler traffic infraction very, called speeding. Very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> cool story, bro. Very hey. Anyways, for good criminal defense Several attorneys. Several people in the town. Right, for good criminal defense attorneys, call 1-800-529-5465. The best way to do it is... Uh, have that number stored in your phone. Stored in your phone. For How life. do you store it in a phone, Brad? You dial, You pick up the phone, you dial the number, you hang up. It's one eight zero zero five two nine five four six five. Why? Because you never know when you're going to be like Squeeze speeding through Fultonville or this guy who's speeding through Massachusetts. And you need good criminal defense attorneys who are right there ready to help you at a moment's notice. You think the judge is going to wake up in the middle of the night and come? You better believe Paul and David are going to wake up, too. Not in their pajamas. They'll put on a jacket and tie. Right. But you, have, the, but you have the telephone number saved. And it's 1-800-529-5465. I think either every person in the world has this number saved or nobody needs no, criminal Brad, defense Brad, attorneys. Right, right, right. It's because you're doing my job. Let me do my job. This is the part where, Daniel, you see it happens from time to time. It's called yelling. All right? 
You've got so many people out there listening to Paul Hirsch, David Morena, and Brad, and myself, occasionally Kyle and Nikki and, you know, Tawana. But they're not saving the number, and here's what happens. They call me at 2 o'clock in the morning, asking for Paul and David and Brad's number. 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't like it. So here's what you're all going to do. You're going to get your phone out, like Brad said. You're going to dial the number I'm going to give you 15 times, and you're going to let it ring. That is how Paul, David, Brad, and myself and everybody in this room will see that you're actually truly saving the number. So when you get stopped or when you get in, maybe you're carrying a gun in your car. Maybe you've got some substance in your car that you shouldn't have in your car. Maybe someone, maybe you're driving in someone's car and something happens. Maybe and, you're in a bus. And it doesn't by the way, matter. By the way, Squeeze, whether guilty or innocent, you have rights. You have rights. So listen up. Right now, pick up your phone and dial this number. one 529 54 Six five. That's one eight hundred five two nine five four six five. Let it ring. Show Brad that you are actually listening to the show, paying attention, saving the number for the criminal defense attorneys. One eight zero zero five two nine five four six five. That's one eight hundred five two nine five four six five. People, and I want these attorneys to answer this as you dial one eight hundred five two nine five four six five. Letting it ring for fifteen seconds and then hanging up. I have seen where people have been accused and they get arrested. And they actually didn't do anything. Have you guys seen that? Of course. Every day in yes. America. Every hour. Every day, every, every minute. hour in America. That has happened to me it too. It happens. It so, happens. So people, that's the reason. I mean, your next door neighbor can say, well, I saw him going into the other guy's house with a gun. Guess what? The cops come, they're locking your ass up. And I'm dead serious. So you out there, ladies, you should save the number. I always realize that it's only men that save the number. Come on. It's not only men that get in trouble with the law. Women do also. 1-800-529-5465. Or, or, or who who's living with the woman. Right. Absolutely. You know, if you're, if exactly. you're a mom, if you have teenage right. kids, you, you, you should, should be, be saving our number. You, right. You're yep. the one that's going to be calling us. Yep, right. I don't like it when I say black kids, you know. But well, they, it's they, all they, kids. They could be kids. white kids, too. But all kids. predominantly black kids. All kids. That's, you know, but all kids. Because all lives matter. All right? 1-800-529-5465. 1-800-529-5465. So far, we have 11 people that have saved the number. There's absolutely maybe just about 20 people listening to us. There's about 30,000 people listening. You think? I know. How do you know? I see the numbers. We got numbers. All right. Yeah, I got numbers. So once again, <laughs> dial the wage. number, let it ring 10 seconds now, and hang up on us. That's you saving the number. one 529 5465 That's one 800 12 Five two nine five four six five. That's one eight zero zero five two nine five four six five. Remember, this is a full service law firm. I was very impressed with what I just heard. That these guys actually went all the way up to Massachusetts. And 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 yes. by the way, he, he probably didn't want to tell you. He didn't go up the night before and stay in a luxury hotel. Drove up at four in the morning to get to to Massachusetts on time. Because he's not uh, smart uh, to, with that. to get in charge with the I case. Would've. So. It's about a five-hour ride, four-hour ride. No, four he was ride. being a good employee and saving uh, the firm money. Well, and saving yes. the client money. Client saving money the client as well. money too, right. It's coming back at All you. All right. <laughs> Brownie points. one 800 529 You know, 15 people. You know, years ago, 16. Squeeze used to yell and scream like a maniac. He's, he's, kind, of, he's kind of mellowed. It's kind of mellowed. Subdued Squeeze. You know, subdued as you squeeze. get older, it's 19 not so calls. easy. It's subdued Squeeze. 19 DJ calls. DJ Subdued Squeeze. DJ Subdued Squeeze. 1-800-529-5465. You never called yourself DJ Squeeze, you? Never. I'm no DJ. You're not a DJ. No, I'm not. I'm just Call 21 DJ. calls we're up to now. Yeah. 1-800-529-5465. Fiona, give us a count. All right, let me know how real I am. 1-800-22-529-5465. Uh, watch, watch when he stands up and he starts screaming. Oh, yeah. I, I told you, get the studio yeah. designed so I can stand, you know? We are. All right, let's go to some immigration calls. Kanisha. Kanisha, thank you so much for tuning in. What's your immigration question for Brad? All right, good afternoon, everyone. My um, cousin just came up from Jamaica on Saturday. She had a tough time going through customs, even though they stamped her book for six months. She's to, supposed to return in November. They took her in a room. They, you know, searched her, accused her of bringing up drugs. Uh, she booked her ticket for four weeks because I'm getting married. And the immigration officer, or I'm not sure who it was that told her that she can only spend two weeks. So now she's fearful and she's about to leave without attending my wedding. How do we address come, this problem? Come see me and I'll extend her status. There you go. Hold it's on. as simple as that. Hold come on. and see Brad and Brad can extend, extend her status. Hold on. All right. All right. That's the reason why you dial the number and save it, not just for immigration but for criminal defense, personal injury, family law, tax law, and much more. That is correct. 1-800-L-A-W-L-I-N-K. 
Let's one, go to another call. And by the way, the digits is 1-800-529-5465. And that number is the same number that you get on the radio, Paul. You're aware of this, right? I, I am. Okay, I am. you are aware. I am aware of that. Okay, so it's the same telephone number to get on the radio as it is to save our number and speak to Paul right. Hirsch. Make an appointment. Speak to David Moreno. Okay. And also, if you've got criminal defense questions... We can answer them if we feel that you are going too deep. Then we'll tell you to hold, and we'll uh, mm -hmm. have one of you, yeah. have one of the attorneys speak with you. So right. call it with criminal defense questions. One eight hundred five two nine five four six five. Maybe you've been arrested recently, and you are out there. And uh, I, I know your attorneys don't like it when I say it, but if you can avoid using legal aid, avoid it. Kanisha. Yes. Hi. Yes, Brad. Go ahead. You go ahead. You I, have, I, I don't know. Kanisha, we, we, we've heard from Brad. Kanisha, now let's hear from Kanisha. Kanisha. I came in recently. Maybe show. you can help me, Kanisha. I love I recently show. came to the United States, and I'm here on a visitor's visa. Kanisha, can you help me, please? And what I should came, I do? And I came for my mom and dad. My cousin just came up. Oh, okay. Um, she's, she's, okay. Not, she's not playing. She's not paying. Okay. Go ahead, Kanisha. He's just visiting from Jamaica yes. for my wedding. I booked a ticket for four weeks. This However, is the same lady. last Saturday. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down. Kanisha. This is yes. the same call. Hold on. And Brad, you picked the wrong line. Kanisha, didn't we talk yes. to you? Yeah, but you picked the line. This is what they told me to pick. Hold on, Twilight Kanisha. Zone. Twilight Zone. We apologize. All right. Yeah, we, we want to do your show right now? Uh, <laughs> can we do the social media check-in? Yes, Kanisha! You're right, now I'm only kidding. I believe uh, it's time for... <laughs> page 21 is first. Uh, let's do Joy, and then we'll do... Uh, okay. Let's do Joy. Joy! Hi, good afternoon. How are you today? How are you? I'm good. Uh, I I am a client of uh, Attorney Bernstein. That's and me. This, yeah. Oh, that's you. This is me, yes. Bernstein. Bernstein. Oh, this is... Just yeah, Bernstein, yeah, I yes. know. My question is, uh -huh. my papers at this point is only labor certification. Right. But I already, uh, you know, the, those papers are fully paid. Right. Uh... What will be my, 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 uh... Well, it sounds like to me that years and years... Where are you, from the Philippines? Yes, okay. yes, I do. All right, so it sounds like to me years and years ago, mm -hmm. you did, you know, you did a labor certification on the hope yeah, that... Yeah, 2007, two, uh, right, yes, uh, right, yes. That, on the hope that the 245I laws would change, and unfortunately many laws have changed, including, you know, you can get a green card now if you have parents here that are legal. But unfortunately, the 245I laws have not changed yet. And mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, I, don't have, I don't know who you are other than your name is Joy. We have lots of clients from the Philippines who got sponsored as housekeeper. What yes. I would suggest you do, Joy, is hold on. You're my client. Come in, and we'll talk about it. All right? Uh, what, what's your name? My name is Attorney Bernstein. <laughs> Bernstein. I'm the guy oh, who's yeah, your I lawyer. Said... Yes, you remember me? Yeah. Yes. Bernstein. Yeah, I remember okay. you. Hold on one second. Hold on. All right. Bernstein. There you go. Bernstein. I don't know if she even thinks that she was calling me. Maybe yeah. she was just calling an immigration show. I don't know. I don't know. Bernstein. But she's a client of ours. Apparently. Bernstein. Bernstein. What, what's wrong with that name? Did I say something that was wrong with the name? You, but you're, you're mocking no, my name. No, I'm just saying Bernstein. Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that All right, let's go social <laughs> media check-in. All right. All right, who's doing it, Kyle or little Nikki? I'm doing it. All right, yeah, yeah. Oh. Kyle, I the voice. Kyle, yeah, Kyle. I said Kyle has the secret personality. No one's allowed. No one's allowed to see Kyle's secret personality. Okay, this is yes. from Facebook. Uh -huh. This is from Andrew. If I applied for VAWA in April and it's still pending, can I apply for benefits for my U.S. citizen son, who I have now he taken? Answered that question. He called. He called earlier. The son is in Canada and wants to come over. Or yeah. Yes. I don't okay. have headphones. Yes, he needs to make an appointment to see us because the son is in Canada. Yes. Okay. This is from Avril Green. Uh -huh. How soon can I file for my husband after we got married? The next day. Okay. Why not? This is from Paul, jump in if you know. I was going to say tomorrow. Paul, I meant I meant right away. That's why I told you to be I, careful. I am. I, I know. It's, he gets, he gets there's wires. Excited. There's things all over the place. Right. Okay. A lot Jack. of bodies in this room. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is from Jacqueline. If your son is a citizen, how long will it take if he files for his mother that is in the U.S.? Okay, this is from Ortha. I got my green card through my mother in 2013. My son's father recently got a visitor's visa. Can I marry him when he comes here and file for him? How long will it take for me to you, file my citizenship? Well, you certainly could marry him. You should marry him within 90 days. Depends on how quick. When did he, she become a green card holder? 
2013. Yes, you can file a citizenship uh, probably in 2018, some date in 2018. I don't know Depends when. Depends on the month. Depends on the month. Uh, yes, let them come visit, get married, become a citizen, by all means. Okay, and uh, this one, Stacey Ann Robinson. If I'm here from a, on a visiting visa for two weeks now, I got married last September. Do I have to wait 90 days before I start filing my paperwork? Yes. Okay, that's all I have. Squeeze. Okay. Hi, Mr. Anarchy. I have a question. If a child Anarchy. was... If a child was born here in the U.S., can a family member in Jamaica adopt that child? If a child was born in the United States, can a family member adopt a child in Jamaica? Yeah. Mm. The old reverse you're adoption. Ask, you're asking about Jamaican adoption laws. I don't have the answer to that. I don't know. Mm. Um, hello, uh, David. Uh, I'm by Brad. the way, by the way, the most excited person in this room right now is Mr. Moreno. He is looks, he? He looks. <laughs> He looks beyond excited. To That's be what here. happens when you don't give someone a hotel room I to like sleep having in the when mic. they go to work. He needs like the, mic. the mic. He needs, he needs like, oh, you know, oh, so, oh, so when he's not talking, he's yeah, it's, you know, it's immigration hour. Yeah, I turn on and off. Yeah, he's totally zoned out now. He was odd when he's talking criminal defense. Now it's immigration. Well, that's why we specialize. We specialize yeah, in what know. I specialize in. That's right. You specialize what you specialize that's in. Right. That's right. Right, right. We limit our practice in New York. There's no specialization. To all the ethics lawyers. That, there, yes. <laughs> right. To all the business owners there is out no there. There's no specialty. It's, you limit your practice here. Yes. All right. I did not want to interrupt you guys. Can I get back to the question? Yeah, sure. sure. Right, thank you. All right. So, hello, David and Brad. Let's see him answer this one. How long can I wait to take the papers to USCIS? How long can you wait? Forever. You can wait as long wait as you'd as like. as long as you'd like. But if you'd like to get if something... You, 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 you may want to file so something. Wanna, exactly. Send him in. Yeah. Paul Hirsch. Send him in. Practicing immigration Pra Practicing immigration. I'm not limiting my, yes. my practice. There you are. There and you are. Uh, yeah. send, send it in. in okay. All right. Hello, everyone. This is from Kenny. I filed for my 10-year green card in November 2016. <laughs> I have <laughs> I haven't heard anything as yet. Do you know how long it would take for the adjustment of status to receive? Since November, he hasn't years? heard anything? Thank you. Yeah. Has he got a receipt notice yet? No, he filed it in um, November. He, if he should have had a receipt notice, he should have fingerprinted already. He should have a work permit. If he doesn't have all of that, he should call us. If he already has that, then he should be getting his interview sometime over the summer. And what's the number for him to call? 1-800-529-5465. That's one 800 529 Five four six five. Can you give me the other number for the Criminal Defense Department? One eight hundred five two nine five four six five. Do you know that's a number you should have saved in your phone, Squeeze? That sounded number? like the same number. It can is give, the same exact number. Can you give it a number for Paul Hirsch? Hirsch? Paul Hirsch. One eight zero zero five two nine five four six five. David Moreno. One eight hundred five two nine five four six five. Okay. It's all the same telephone numbers. Okay. Yes, and uh, Miss Willery is waiting patiently for page twenty one. Okay, thank mm. you so much, right. Ms. Wood, so, for reminding um, us of the sponsors. Kyle, indeed. did you learn anything about page 21 from this morning? Um, yes, I tell learned us, tell that... Us, tell us what you know about page 21. I learned that page 21 is the key to beautiful credit. Key Ooh, to beautiful, beautiful credit. Beautiful credit. This guy's got a way with words. I like Kyle. that no much. Wonder the is words should last the words, 10 years. One second. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. What sounds better? USA Credit Repair, here for you today, there for you tomorrow... Or USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. Ooh, I'll go with the latter. Ooh, I do like I'll the go with the latter. But Kyle owns it, so well, I don't know. Uh, we'd, yeah, have to, we'd have, have to. We'd have to kind of pay will have him to, uh, for it. Yeah. You better lock it in real soon. You yeah. do. <laughs> or I'll Sounds pull a good. Zuckerberg on it. Sounds good. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> All right, USA Credit Repair, the key <laughs> to beautiful to beautiful credit. credit. Oh, so I like wow. it. P. Diddy would I like say. it. That's wow, <laughs> I like it. I, and what is that telephone number? It one eight hundred one eight hundred eight seven two seven one seven seven. If you need a key for beautiful credit, if you need a key for a car, you need a key for a car. Key, key to a house. house. Yeah. To my heart. A key to your key boat. To your love life. Key to your love life because you're beautiful because, because you know why? Yeah. Your 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 partner yeah. would dump you with bad credit. You can't afford oh, yeah. to do anything. You do, uh, you do need good credit, right? I would dump what, a girl with bad credit. One eight hundred eight seven two seven one seven seven. USA Credit Repair is our beautiful sponsor. I they would. have a key I'd to beautiful credit. I like that. We're going to start using that, Kyle. <laughs> yep. you see, that's why we see? got Kyle here. He yep. just earned I his salary. I told you. I told you. He's just, you know, he has a secret personality. Brad is just trying to say you just earned your living today. Yes. He did. <laughs> <laughs> You're good for another month. Yes. <laughs> All right. USA Credit, 1-800-872-7177. The key to beautiful credit. You got bad credit below 700? You want beautiful credit? 1-800-872-7177. 1-800-872-7177. They are word. our 
They are our proud sponsors. I need a word to describe David Moreno's look and, and stature right now. Annoyed. No, he's Impatient. Cont contemplative. Impatient. He's ready. He's got to get back to it. How about pensive? Pensive. There it is. Why are you pensive? pensive. Just yeah. thinking about all the cases in my head. All right. Why don't you talk Constantly a little bit working. and relax? <laughs> no, no. I want, I want, <laughs> as soon as he starts talking, he feels okay. Yeah. That's okay. This is the uh, page 21 in the immigration segment. I'm here watching. Let's get back to the immigration question. Paul, do you have anything to say? Paul gets pensive when he has that. I do. I do get pensive. No, I, this, this is the best. I, I, love, I love beautiful credit. I, I like listening to immigration and learning. And, uh, and you like telling your success and stories. And our success stories. We, right. We've been killing it lately, yes, right. so uh, it's been great. All right. All right. Working hard. Wonderful to be in a room with uh, attorneys. Yes. Let's go back to the uh, phone lines. By the way, how, 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 where's the basketball game these days, the NBA? Tomorrow. 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 It begins. First game? Game one of the finals. Okay, who is in the finals? Brad, I'm asking you. Who is in the basketball finals? Golden State. And? Cleveland. Wow. Look at that. It's good. What they expected from the beginning. Really Correct. wasn't much of a season. Correct. They could have just went straight they to the playoffs straight and to the we could have been right here. Yeah, might as well just hand the, 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 the freaking trophy over to the Well, right I mean, now, now, it's a, now it's a battle. <laughs> you know, I don't want them to win, but hey. To who? Exactly. Is it the cast? Clearly, know. Squeeze hasn't been watching basketball no. season. No, Clearly, he yeah, he's been studying. I, I, I he really knows the analytics. The Warriors are going to sweep the there. Yeah, squeeze, squeeze, the Mets will be in the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just just tell everybody. It's Cavs four right. games. Four? And yeah. Cavs in, in four games. Not that I want them to win. I don't want them. You think they're going to sweep? No, right. Cavs, let's, let's four games, this is ridiculous. Golden State, right. three. Oh, uh, that's different. Yeah. When you say Cavs and four, that means they're sweeping. Oh, four and three. You need Cavs. four to win it. Yes. Four, three Cavs. Someone three should have four. But I, st I want uh, Golden State to win. It'll be four, zero, Golden State. Four, zero, so Golden disrespectful. State. Four, four, zero. It's four, zero? Like LeBron four, zero. doesn't exist in your world. We'll really? talk about this in two weeks when it's four, zero. <laughs> Anybody got any money in this room? Because I don't. <laughs> I bet. Brad, can I borrow 20 bucks? I'm going to show you a neat trick. Kanisha. <laughs> yes. How I'm are you? Back because again. I'm not sure I explained myself properly. What? Brad, she, she, they stamped her book for six months. But the, the guy that interrogated her threatened her and told her that she Kanisha. can only stay in the country for two weeks. Kanisha. Yes. You're yelling at me. Have her come in, and I will help her. Yeah. I don't know until I see her Brad, broke. help Kanisha. And I will help, I promise. Come on, Brad. She will help be at Kanisha. your wedding. I promise you she will be there. I oh, promise. look at that. What more All do you right, need, Kanisha? Hold on, Kanisha. What more do you need? All right. Why don't you pick her up again and put her on hold again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. By the way, on a serious note, if you are here on a visitor's visa, let's get serious for a minute. And uh, they gave you a specific amount of time to t stay in the United States. And you would like to extend that amount of time. Just pick up your phone, call Brad Bernstein, and he can do it for you. You don't have to overstay your visa. You don't have to worry your pretty little head. Okay, worry about your wedding, whatever it is. Just call Brad, and he'll take care of it. That's what he's trying to say. Stop trying to actually say, I know what's happening right here, Kenesha. You're trying to get Brad to say everything is okay, uh, all of that. No. Come, on, come in and get it fixed. I understand. Kanisha's yeah. getting married. Anxiety. There's a lot in. of anxiety yes. and stress. Yes. yes. We do okay. understand that. And but to take it away, all I, they have to I do is come take, see you. Right. I can't do anything about the flowers. I can't do anything about... You can do something about a cake. I, I, I don't make cakes. Okay. I can't do anything about the dinner service or the lunch service. But what I can do is make sure her friend is there. How's that? In charge of that the sounds fair. Right. And I that can't, fair. and I can't, and I hope, and I'm assuming the groom will show up. <laughs> right? And Brad and Squeeze will crash the wedding. <laughs> wedding singer? Brad? Wedding crashers <laughs> with Brad and Squeeze, part two. Don't nice. worry about it, Kenesha. Can you imagine? Right. Nice. Right. She hang I've, seen, I've right. seen the two she of you at a party. Right. And she and hung I, up. Yeah, I go to Kenesha's wedding, and they're like, who are you? I'm the uncle. <laughs> Sure, you think I can fancy Kanisha's uncle? Well, you know. Sounds like she has African ancestors. Don't help her friend, and there should be an empty seat. Yes, that's true, too. All right, so let's go to another call, Brad. Kenny's back. Kenny. What's going on? Is it we just don't have any callers, or people just. No, you have tons of callers. There's something wrong with my computer. I think I hear something. The mouse. You see a mouse anywhere here? No. No. I don't see anything running around. We're down. 
All right, so um, technical difficulties. Let's just remind folks once again: we've got the criminal defense attorneys here, Paul Hirsch and David Moreno. Many of you out there, I, I know you have questions for them. You have been arrested recently, got in trouble with the law. They're getting off the radio now. You can actually call them off the airwaves to speak with them. And that number happens to be 1-800-529-5465. Take it. And, you know, day, it, 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 Memorial Day was the unofficial start of the summer. And that's when, that's when crime really, the, the, a lot up. more arrests are made. Lot, lot, you know, very important now to be mindful. You're in the streets a lot. You're out and about. The cops are out and about. They're looking to pump their numbers up. This is when they like to do it. So um, really, now, now's the time to be very careful, know your rights, uh, and have a good lawyer's number stored in your and to even add to that, now that Donald Trump is doing his thing and finally Brad agrees, I'm, I'm telling you, there's, there will be a whole lot more arrests with everything. And you need to store the number for the law offices for Spartan Bernstein. So please do so. We're wrapping this up in 60 seconds. Do me a favor, everyone. We're serious now. Sweet. Dial this number work. and let it ring for Maybe 10 seconds. 1-800-529-5465. That's 1-800-529-5465. Dial the number for a good law firm, good attorneys, one 529 5465 We must remind you that prior results do not guarantee similar outcome. But I say choose Spar and Bernstein by calling 1-800-LAWLINK, 1-800-529-5465. Just store the number in your phone. What are you waiting for? Whether it's immigration, criminal defense, okay, personal injury, maybe you slip off a scaffolding or something like that. You get run over by a truck, a bus, I don't know. Okay, slip and fall. Get uh, bitten by a dog, but remember, the first bite is free. All right? So call 1-800-529-5465. That's 1-800-529-5465. So if my Rottweiler bites you in the ass, right, Brad, right, right. you Rottweiler can't sue me, man. Because you don't know that Rottweiler is dangerous until it bites the person I for the first time. I thought yeah. it was a Marv Albert defense. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 1-800-529-5465. Tax law. And 1 that's good. <laughs> All right? This has been a great show as usual. Tune yes. in tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And thank you so much, social media viewers and watchers and listeners of 93.5 WVIP. Well, we're out. Squeeze, we can't be out because we're, now we're out. Yeah. All right. Um, I, thank you.